Body modifications have been a human tradition for a very long time across various cultures. While there were all kinds of ornamentations that pierced the body, these clasp to the nose. These are nose ornaments from the Tirona and Kalima pre-Columbian cultures of modern-day Colombia. The Tirona nose ornament is a symmetrical semicircle. Around the edge is a detailed braid pattern. This shape was very common for nose pieces produced in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta region of Mesoamerica, or Northwest Colombia. There is also overlap with the nearby Zenu culture, who were known for their wicker work. The Kalima nose plaque is crescent-shaped, which seems to be associated with warriors. Strips of sheet gold hang from the curved bottom edge. Geometric and scroll-like patterns decorate the outside edge of the main section. At the top are cut portions that make a sort of serrated edge. A circular cutout dangles within a round opening in each upper corner. The nose clasp area depicts two stylized birds in profile, facing each other. It would have attached to the nose in similar placement as a modern septum piercing, clasping around the columella, which is the fleshy area between the nostrils. While this piece is somewhat light in weight, it's certainly meant to be seen and heard. Covering the whole lower half of the face, the long dangling strips create movement and sound as the wearer would move. It both hides and draws attention, especially to the eyes. The covering of the mouth could also relate to breath, vitality, and speech. Metal ornamentations were worn in Central America by the 5th century CE and became more important through 1200 CE. Throughout the various Mesoamerican cultures, there were widespread ideologies related to the head, which influenced body modification and adornments, like nose and ear piercings, and what exactly was worn. Depending on the culture, ornamentations could be linked to identity and social roles or rank, as there were ritual rites of personal transformation and visual indicators of social rank. Ornamentations also served as connections to nature and the mythical, which were influential aspects of Mesoamerican beliefs. The Tyrona believed that having animal-human hybrid decorations and figures meant that they could control animals, like a bird man or a jaguar man. The way the adornments could transform the face could also mirror the traits of a specific animal. The Tyrona nose ornament looks like a jaguar's mouth area. Birds, especially in pairs, were prevalent as well, like we see on the Kalima piece. The geometric pattern highlights the wings and the two small holes make the eyes. The pre-Columbian area of Colombia was quite prolific in its gold mining and goldsmithing. Kalima, in the southwest, was near the coasts and had transcontinental access through modern-day Panama, which was ideal for trade. Tyrona in the northwest was notable for the craftsmanship of gold and pottery. The works were often made of tumbaga, which is a man-made gold and copper alloy used throughout the pre-Columbian Americas. Andean cultures were interested in light and radiance, and the shine from all the ornaments they wore would have been eye-catching, even from a distance. <laughs> 